Hello and welcome back to United Penguin Kingdom. This is episode two of our series on the game. Last time, if you didn't see that one, we went through the tutorials and started this free play here. So what we need to do now is try to do some sort of preparations for the killer whale coming back. Uh, we don't have access to the specific uh, defense design for those quite yet. So probably not going to be too much we can do about that, but uh, that is what's coming up here. And then we have another seal raid in December and then January, we get our annual report so we can see how we did. Uh, but right now, pressing things we have under uh, construction here, this basic cooler needs more plastic. Um, we have run out of that particular resource, so we'll have to do something about that. And of course, this kid's house does not have power because, well, there's nothing to put the power back uh, where that needs to go. So you'll also remember that the killer whale attack deleted our newcomer ramp, which we will need to rebuild. Uh, if we go to resources, we have this ocean garbage collector, which we have not uh, built yet. We have unlocked it, but we have not yet built it. So we need to find a place to pop that guy in. And that'll actually fit right here where the newcomer ramp was. So we can see if there's any, uh, any other place. Okay, right here actually would fit pretty well. Uh, it is, of course is going to be vulnerable to killer whales, but you know, everything is at this point. So we kind of have to just deal with that. It would be really funny, though, if uh, this required plastic to build that we don't have, but uh, it's taken care of here. So this is what it says it does. Ocean Garbage Collector collects ocean garbage, as the name would imply. Then it can be reprocessed into plastic material at the plastic recycling station and wood material at the wood recycling station. And there's all sorts of other stuff that we can get into. Um, Snowblock Maker as well. Not entirely sure what that does. Uh, obviously, it makes snowblocks, but I don't know what we use those for. We can also do different types of fishing. We've got our temple we can build. Uh, other upgrades as well. Uh, this center island here has become pretty full. And we haven't really done a great job optimizing things. Or how they need to be laid out. Uh, I did receive a comment telling me that the, uh, the kids and the adults buildings do have the ranges that they're effective in. Which, of course, the tutorial told us. But it's always nice to have a reminder uh, that we need to try and organize things a little bit better which we have not done quite yet. So I imagine at some point we'll probably end up demolishing some of this and relocating the kids' area to be a completely separate spot, uh, maybe on one of these other islands, because, of course, they have their own things that have the uh, area of effect. Now we have our, uh, our workers here in the ocean garbage collector. We need to put some in. We don't have any workers, so we need to reallocate. Uh, builder's hut, I'm going to take one out and put them in the garbage collector just so we can start actually, well, collecting garbage. We've got a lot to do. We also need to, we need to do some defense, but it's uh, going to be a little challenging to do that. But now we're collecting our ocean garbage. Take a look at this animation here. That's pretty cool. They've done a nice job with this game in terms of uh, creating an interesting and distinct visual style. It also looks good. That could be very challenging. So we're waiting on this to produce garbage. And we have a killer whale coming back. So let's hope it doesn't uh, take this thing out. You never know. Um, it seems like that is the only thing that is out of range of any one of these attack towers. Well, that's an ominous sound. That's probably exactly what that is. Uh, let's see. Defense. See, I can't I can't make the ice cannon tower yet. That's uh, good for killer whale defense. But we also have this ice spear tower, which uh, really is going to need to have uh, a closer range. I think I uh, probably am fine to just put that right there. Let's make that a priority. Oh, it's over there. Never mind. So it's going to it's going to take out our herb collector unless it can get got by our uh, our ice spear towers, but the building is um, probably not going to last. Although if they manage to kill this guy, that's going to be a, a big achievement. Something tells me it's not quite going to work out the way we want it to, though. Yeah, the building's just about gone. Oh, nice. Cool, we got 32 gold and we got some street cred for uh, defeating the whale. Oh, and then that thing just disappears. So uh, I guess... This needs to be reconstructed, but we survived, and we're not going to get another one until uh, January. So that's cool. We can uh, eventually eventually get into that. So let's uh, prioritize that. Uh, we still haven't collected enough garbage, but 
We are getting there. Speed up time just a touch here. By just a touch, I mean the fastest game speed. But let's get that collected. Yep, there we go. And now we should see at some point uh, having enough plastic as soon as we build all of that stuff to be uh, taken care of. Now we have an idol. Oh, that's because this guy got, got destroyed. So we need to have our herb collector. That's going to be under resources or food and medicine. That's there it is. And that was this guy right here, if I can remember. I guess right there is probably fine. That works. New task. Decorations provide extra happiness points to houses within the area of interaction. Yes. As we learned in the tutorial. So let's unlock our vase here. Doo -doo. All right. And we've got decorations all the way to the right. There we go. So this is, I guess, just going to be a good space filler in uh, spots we don't really know what else to uh, do with. But we need to make sure we're in the range of houses. There's two right here. There's one here. And there's two over here. So I don't think there's going to be a... Obviously, I can't build it here because there's a building on the way. But if there's a place where I could have more than two of these connected at once, I think that would probably be smart. Actually, it'll uh, impart some bonuses on the children's houses as well. So it looks like pretty much anywhere I put over here would be good. Uh, we'll pop that right there. That should help. Uh, we're producing garbage yet again. Still have not quite figured out how to do our plastic yet. Which um, we need to have the plastic recycling station. But uh, I have not found where that is. Maybe that's one of those things that has to come uh, once we get into the city thing after we unlock all of this. Okay, I see the wood recycling station, and I see plastic is a derivative of that. Yeah, so we've got quite a way to go. We have to get all of this stuff uh, unlocked. So something tells me we're not going to be able to build this because we don't have enough plastic. We might have to just get smarter uh, with how we have our stuff laid out. So we'll see what happens. I'm sure there's all sorts of other stuff we can get ourselves into. Uh, this does not have any power. Huh. I didn't think that was going to be a problem. Okay, the kid's house doesn't have power either. So I wonder if we can just move some buildings around that we've already built. Yeah, see, we're out of uh, we're out of space. We have space in the kid's house, but we don't have space in the adult house. Nice. Alright, so let's slow this down a little bit. See what we can do here, because uh, some of the materials we're going to have a very hard time with. Because we don't have enough, uh, we don't have enough plastic, for example, to build any more of these cooling towers. But the way we have stuff laid out is not really that good. Uh, definitely, definitely could use a lot to, uh, better of a system. I think part of that is going to be we just have way too many uh, spear towers. Like we honestly don't need that many, so we might end up. Uh, See, we've got October, November with nothing going on. Would it be stupid? Just pause this real quick. Would it be stupid to just completely clean this out and see what we can uh, we can do to redo it? Because obviously I, I tried to have this one thing in the middle and then I just didn't build it that way. So that's uh, proven to be kind of a, a less than ideal scenario. So if, if we kind of just re recombobulated stuff, we got our food stand here. Uh, builder's hut, small food storage, pharmacy, warehouse, all that stuff is important that needs to exist, but uh, it's not really laid out the best possible way. Got the wind turbine. Uh, we haven't decided, or I haven't been able to uh, make sense of at least, how much power we're generating versus how much power we need to have. I think it's just a range thing. It might actually just be a range thing. I have, uh, I got this one, I got this one, and I got this one. I got three of these things, four of these things, and I, I don't really know that I need to have four. It doesn't seem to have any sort of stat about actual production. So if we were to uh, remove a couple of these, see if we can get any materials back. Let's see, what was it? X? Yes, that does uh, demolishment of buildings. 
obviously we need to have some sort of defense against the uh, the seals, but I got four of these things right here, and I got one more here that isn't even staffed. So probably what would make more sense is to just have, uh, maybe instead of five, we could have four of them and they're spaced out a little bit around the outside so that maybe they also provide some whale defense until we get some plastic. Yeah, and the, uh, the windmills, when they get demolished, are going to give us eight plastic back, eight garbage, 20 gold, and one metal. We need to maybe, uh, maybe move some of the other mat uh, materials stuff around. I don't know. Not entirely sure exactly what our uh, idea is, but let's try getting rid of that, because that says not enough power, or no power. That's probably because this thing is not quite in range. So we demolished that. I do want to see if we can just... Yeah, so that says no. No power. Alright, so I'm not going to unpause that, but our... Uh, Situation with the basic coolers also uh, could help if we reorganize things to be set up a slightly better way. Not entirely sure what our best move here is going to be. The ice rank is a nice thing to have, but probably also not super necessary. It is going to give us a good amount of materials back. I just want to have a you know a better grasp on how this stuff is supposed to be laid out. Uh, in case you were not aware which I would be very surprised to learn that you wouldn't, weren't, but uh, we have this uh, entire thing is me learning as I go. So if by chance you are an expert at this game and you have uh, helpful advice, do drop it in the comments. I do always read them, but uh, we have quite our work cut out for us. This is our, uh, our intersection here. I was going to try and have everything kind of aligned nicely in the same way, that I wanted it to be in the beginning, but uh, we haven't haven't quite gotten there yet. I don't I don't want to necessarily delete everything at the start of this, but I feel like we're gonna kind of have to do that. So we've got our basic coolers here. If we just get rid of all of these, all right. So that is here. All the basic coolers are gone. Well, this one's being constructed. Let's uh, get rid of that. Now we've got a lot of materials. We can we can kind of think about how we're doing stuff here. I don't think I can um I don't think I can remove paths. Maybe that's one of those things where I just we just build over and it goes away. But if we can actually keep this center thing uh, pathing the correct way, then I think we're going to be in a uh, in good shape here. Let's see. We also uh, we have all these ice spears that we have to uh, do something with. I think they just have to be made. I don't think I can actually, you know, put these anywhere when we delete these. But uh, I believe we're going to be much better served if this is organized appropriately here. Uh, this food stand in the middle of this thing, probably not the best place for it. But this is maximum, uh, maximum compactness of this uh, set of objects. That's fine. These have to have all the paths around them, and that's fine. But it, this middle bit is what was really, really bugging me. We didn't have stuff laid out well at all. So we get rid of the kids' housing. That's the school. Uh, that does not have to be in the range of anything except power. But if we go ahead and get rid of that... So we already have... That's our vase, right? Yes. Now if we remove the lodge and instead group the lodges together again... But the uh, adult lodges, is this another lodge? Yes. Adult lodges on one side and the kid lodges on the other side. Then we can have, I think, a much better time at this. So, now that we've essentially removed all of this, let's come back in here. We got our lodges. Make sure these are attached to the correct spot. So now these are all adult penguin lodges. They have to be powered. And this is just about in range, Let's see if I can get one in range of all four. Okay, no, not quite, not quite. So it would have to be, we'd have to have two of these. Well, of course those aren't even built yet, but that would get us there. If we put them in the middle here, they'd get us probably closer, but uh, right now, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead 
and build these after we have all of the lodges put in place. Uh, this ice spear tower probably is okay to be here. Our food storage is here. The seals have to come in from the uh, the corners and the center of the outside anyway, so having this guy right here I don't think is a bad choice. So if we get rid of that guy from there and instead put our defense ice spear tower, say, right here, kind of around the outside area, that works. Uh, we also have, if we come in here with the road, we have some space here to build a couple things. Maybe that can be one of our uh, windmill type deals just to have everything connected properly here. Uh, energy right here, wind turbine, correct term. So that goes there, that's fine. And then our basic cooler can kind of bridge some of this stuff. We can put one here, or we could maybe put it on uh, on this side, would make sense. And then that would actually end up making a, a good spot for our, uh, our vase right here. So that will take care of uh, spots for 12 adult penguins. We have currently 15, gonna need one more. So do we have, I always click on the wrong thing. Do we have space over here for a lodge? It looks like we do, and that would actually fit pretty well there. So that would be 15. All the adult stuff taken care of over there. It's in kind of close proximity to the food. That's looking good. Uh, this is the carousel for the children. The snow block maker doesn't necessarily have to be there. Transfer center is where you can get extra penguins. The ice rink is a uh, an item that has to be in a certain location relative to the uh, adult penguins, or so we think. So let's uh, see if there is a place over here. We can try to get this popped in place. I'm not exactly sure it's going to work the way we want it to. This would have to be probably right about where the food storage is, actually. Um which if we want to move this, we would have to build a second one and transfer the stuff, I believe. So if we do that, we can take care of that. Uh, but yeah, the ice rink here would probably actually make a good bit of sense to take care of the adult penguins. And then we can figure out the, uh, the child penguins. We have the kids house here. Transfer center probably doesn't need to be next to the kids stuff. Snowblock maker carousel probably should be where the kids are, one would think. So let's uh, get rid of the kid's house here and instead move that. Uh, see, that's not going to work there. We'll, we'll put some stuff there, though. Yeah, this see, this is what I was talking about with stuff not being laid out correctly. Our herbs here, not not making sense. But let, let's go ahead and let them um, let's go ahead and let them get stuff built. Uh, I'm going to make this wind turbine a priority and then uh, these guys as well. Uh, just get that locked in, taken care of, so we can have actual penguins, you know, existing in ways that make sense. Got our warehouse, we've got our... Which one of these is the builder's hut? Yeah, let's get all four of these guys in here. Yeah, get all that taken care of. Turn this into super fast. Plenty of resources here. New task. Let's build a temple. Um, let's, uh, let's postpone that for a month and, uh, come back in a little bit. Just make sure that can, uh, actually work here. We got, we got a lot of stuff on our mind here. We got garbage. We got snow blocks to build stuff with. It would be kind of cool if you could have snow blocks kind of, uh, extend the size of your islands a little bit. This isn't exactly the most, uh, optimal layout as we've, uh, come to learn. But now we're uh, we're slowly getting our capacity up. Uh, let's get this cooler built first here. So that's going to extend our power this way. Should help us out just a touch. And then we can slowly get everything else put back where it needs to go. We got quite, quite a lot uh, coming out here. And also don't forget, December we have a group of seals coming in. And uh, we're going to have to have our ice spears taken care of. But now at least we have housing for nine penguins. Now let's get these guys in place. Okay, that's that's good. Uh, needs to have a worker. That is not in range of an energy generator, which we'll have to fix in a second. 
Okay, so that's working. We just need to have power here. Which I think we don't have to build any more wind turbines to make that happen. I think. I'm pretty sure we can just do uh, more basic coolers. But this has to be, I think, in range of existing power to uh, move it. So maybe we do... Maybe we do have to have one. Well, it's not like it's the end of the world anyway, because they're not that expensive to build. Ah, uh, but it's not going to fit here, because there's uh, not enough extra space. But I can... I can do this. I can put that guy there. So this is going to be pretty much exactly what we already had going on, but uh, it's going to be a little, little bit different, a little bit improved. All right, the warehouse being in such a central location is nice, but I think that's going to be in the way. So let's see, where is resources, warehouse? Can I move it? I can. I can move it right here. So we'll do that. Let's build this, and then we'll make this the primary warehouse, and we will get rid of this, and that will free up a whole bunch of space over here. All right, that's our temple. Um, I probably should still keep postponing this. But I also have two, I have two months to do it. I wonder why it's 2.22 months. I never really figured that out. But we have, uh, we have the science to unlock it. We just have to build it. So, uh, you know what? We might as well. But we need to, uh, we need to get the rest of this taken care of very soon. We have these poor homeless child penguins. Because there's no power here. You have no power here, except it's the penguins who have no power. All right, let's take a pause on this for a second. Food stand does not have a worker. We have we have so many idle workers. We we need to, I guess, uh, reassign all of these things since they've become uh, actually you know workable. So we'll get that all taken care of. We have three idle penguins. Pause again. Uh, yeah, because we got to redo. We, we got to redo this. The science hub. This is something that probably should be moved. All this does is just make science, so it can be anywhere. It does not matter. What we need to be focusing on instead is moving our stuff. Let's make this the primary warehouse. And then um, now I need to remember how to get rid of stuff. Oh, automatically transported. Cool. So I, uh, I guess I don't need to worry about it as long as I just dismantle the building after everything gets uh, moved over, I think. Aha. There we go. That is so nice <laughs> that the game just takes care of that. Uh, but let's let's get off a of super turbo mode here. Because uh, remember, it is December. We have a large group of seals coming. And we have uh, this making the ice spears. This one has, wow, 33. I guess they all went here after I demolished the rest of them. Uh, we need to make sure that we have uh, defense stuff available. That is definitely going to be a huge, huge problem to deal with. So if we take a look at our roads, uh, I can actually build a building here. Let's just get that in place. Yeah, so now I have all this space in the middle. I can move stuff around. Uh, the pharmacy probably should also be moved. Food and medicine. Let's see. Yeah, see, so look at all this extra space we've got opened up over here. This doesn't specifically have to be in this exact spot. But if that goes there, I can uh, get that built, and then I can demolish this, which means I can reorganize everything else. Uh, Food-wise, oh, all we have is krill. I feel like they're going to get tired of eating the krill. Might uh, might be a thing. We don't have any... Uh, wait, I already had an herb collector. Why did I build a second one? I built the wrong thing. <laughs> well... Uh, so, if you caught that in the comments, congratulations. You are smarter than I am. <laughs> That's not a not a difficult thing to achieve. But, uh, I always appreciate you guys looking out. So, let's get this completed. Because we don't want to get caught with our pants down when these seals show up. But we will get the boss music uh, before... There we go. We need to make that a primary. And then we'll demolish that. Everything goes here nice and easy. Now I got a carousel, which uh, based on this radius seems like a pretty good, pretty good location. The snow block maker, um, that can 
we know immediately go away. We have tons of snow blocks. We don't need to make one right now. Uh, but what we do need to do is... Um, transfer center probably also doesn't need to be there. But we need to have our kids have somewhere to sleep. So this right now is not really in a great spot because of the uh, demands of the size of the, uh, the kid housing. So I'll tell you what. Let's just get rid of that. See what other buildings we have to have around the outside here. We have our garbage collector. We have our herb collector. We have a trawling dock. Where they're uh, trawling for krill, I suppose. Uh, we can unlock fish with science. Well, not right now because we have a lot of uh, other stuff to get to. But uh, they're they're trawling. They're, uh, they're doing stuff, I guess, so we can leave them alone. But what other things have to go on the outside? We have our... Is that going to be under community? No, it was... Uh, I really need to learn where stuff goes in this game. Um, one of these was a newcomer ramp, and I can't remember where it was. Community? No. Decorations? No. Fun? No. Technology? I wonder why this is under technology and defense and not community. I don't know. Uh, but that needs to get built somewhere where it has room for. Oh, wow. That'll actually fit right there. I think that is probably a, a good spot for it. But uh, probably isn't the most important thing right now, considering everything we have uh, is completely full. But uh, we'll need to make a mental note to put this back here when we have the space and the time for it, uh, population-wise. So that's good to know. Other things that would have to go around the outside, I think, might all come later. Uh, fishing dock, after we you know research fishing. Obviously, we don't have that right now, so I think around the outside is all looking fine. Also, we have all these other islands, so we probably shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be that stressed out about it. But uh, let's make ourselves a little kid village here. If we rotate this here, we can put another one right here, and that's going to leave us space for some power. If we go to energy and coolers, and that will power those two. So that's two kid houses. Uh, that will hold, I believe, uh, need to check again, uh, five. Okay, cool. So those two will take care of everything. Let's, um, let's let them build that. Uh, the transfer center, I think, is something that we sh probably should move to one of these other islands uh, once we get there. But uh, for right now, it seems fine. Uh, if anything, I probably am going to want to build another ice spear tower. To try and keep our uh, ourselves able to defend against the seals. So we have all these small spaces that probably would uh, be good to have ice spear towers. In fact, I'm going to put two, two right here, because that's going to help us defend against our uh, our killer will nemesises, nemesises, nemeses, whatever the uh, the plural for that is. So considering considering where we are right now, let's let's have one kid's house, so at least some of them aren't homeless. And we'll get that wind turbine built. Uh, but we're gonna have we're gonna have quite a few quite a few of these seals coming in here. I can only assume they get more and more severe with each uh, each passing seal invasion. So we're definitely gonna want to keep uh, keep ourselves working here. Now, let's also not forget we have this temple that we've promised we're going to build, but but we have not built our science hub. Remember, we got rid of that because of uh, placing things. So we've already made the garbage. So all I have to do in the next 1.5 months is unlock temple and build it. We know we can do that. We just can't forget. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, here's the boss music. All right, let's get these seals in here after I pause the game and uh, beg and plead them to build these ice spear towers as fast as possible. Let's check our stock. We've got 30 out of 14. We've got uh, 14 out of 14. And then this one here has 14. Uh, they are staffed. Isabel, Augustine, and Naren is it. Uh, Godspeed. Oh, they're feeding on the uh, the collectors here. All right, well, uh, let's get, get to work. Get to work here. Start attacking these seals. They're going to steal all our food. And you're going to be upset because you're not going to have any krill left. I think there's like a second wave that comes in here at some point. I don't know. We'll see. No, oh, that was anticlimactic. I guess we, uh, I guess we survived. That's good to know. So let's, um, 
No, it's all of our professions here. All right. Um, we'll go back down to normal speed. Let's build our science building so I can actually, uh, you know, build the temple. Science hub. This does not have to be, but it has to be powered, but it does not have to be in the main area. So we just have to decide, do we want to put it here? It, it honestly does make sense to have in the area we're going to be spending most of our time. Most of our penguins, rather. So probably, probably is okay to put here. Honestly, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that so we can we can build all this garbage, um, not literally garbage because we you know get a garbage out of the ocean. Yep, hilarious. I know. All right, so that's gonna get us back with our stuff here. Let's get a worker. Oh, we actually don't have a worker. Oh, the annual reports here. Let's check it out. We are ranked 27th. I don't know what metric that is based on, but uh, I guess it's going to have our breakdown here. Our unique essence. Does this mean that we're the best? The little crown here? I don't know. Oh, no, that's the... Uh, that's Okay, this is the other colonies. <laughs> okay, all right. Never mind. So we're 27th. We have 1,446 reputation, and uh, these guys got uh, quite a bit. So if we have a reputation score of 1,500... Oh, that's how we unlock the other stuff. Reputation score. Gotcha. So annual objectives next year. Reach a reputation score of 1,615. Reach 20% happiness. And then we'll get those. All right, so that's good to know. Uh, happiness went down. Yep. Uh, gold went down. Yep. Expected that. But reputation has massively increased in the past year. As well as every hey no penguins died that's always good and we killed a killer whale and 98 seals you know i think we had a pretty good year all right cool so now it's year two january so we got our temporary reputation points removed for the uh trawling dock task now we have our science thing we don't have our penguins no idle penguins oh that's right we were going to uh we were going to remove workers and the uh, unnecessary defense structures so I can remember my camera controls and then I can send somebody to the science hub. But that's going to solve that problem. Let's uh, unlock the temple and let's build it. That's going to be under uh, community. Yes. And it does have a radius, it seems. Okay, so there is, I guess, kind of a strategy to where this needs to go. I guess uh, this is the location of most of the work buildings for transferring stuff. So let's just put that there. Put it right in the center of town, nice and accessible. And, oh, you know what we have is we have the killer whale coming. We have the killer whale coming. We need to have a whole lot more defense going on. So that's going to be a, uh, it's going to be a fun one trying to figure out, but we'll get this, uh, I guess, reputation boost from building the temple once this is actually done. Nice. 45 temporary reputation points. Now we're up to 1466 and we're going to get, uh, the city stuff at 1500. So let's pause again because, you know, we have this killer whale coming in. Let's see how we can allocate our dudes and dudettes. Uh, warehouse, small food storage. Which one is the builder set? There we go. I'm going to take two of these guys out of here. And I'm going to move them into the ice spear towers so we can make sure we are ready for the <laughs> for the killer whale to come in. And then we can think about what other stuff we want to place in here. We've got a lot of opportunity. And uh, so far, everything... I think... With the exception of the garbage collector, everything that is actually vulnerable to the killer whales is covered by at least two of these towers. This one probably has three in range. I believe it should have. Uh, I believe it should have told us. Yeah, herb collector, herb collector, herb collector. Okay, so that one's just the trawling dock, and that one's trawling dock, herb collector, just the herb collector, just the ocean garbage collector. So honestly, we probably should have put this one on the other side here. But we had to have the power go across where the basic cooler is. So I guess it's probably okay. I imagine, of course, that the killer whale will attack the garbage collector because there's only one tower guarding it. But uh, I guess 
we'll just have to see what happens. We'll get another set of uh, goals and stuff soon enough. So the transfer center, like I said, uh, probably needs to move. Uh, we're gonna need to have more. Gonna need to have more penguin space. So that's why I was going to move the uh, food storage and the food stand. So let's actually build one of those right now. Uh, small food storage can go right across the way here, and then the food stand as well. Except that's gonna have a. Uh, a suboptimal spot. So let's actually not build this here. Let's set this up slightly better. So the food stand is there, and then the food storage can go here. Oh, and that's going to give us space right here to build another uh, another something. But uh, the idea again behind putting this here is so I can put a, a skating rank here, which is going to give a bonus to our adult penguins. Hopefully that ends up working, being a, uh, a worthwhile deal. So we'll pop that in. Uh, we do just have the two penguins working uh, in there in the uh, builder's hut right now because we put some of them on defense so we can get ready for the whale. So I guess we're going to have to fast forward through this. Seal coming in. Got, got. New task, huh? Fishing dock. Good. If we want to get to that, um, we have three months to do it. And that 50 temporary reputation will get us to the city, and then maybe I can unlock the uh, plastic processing like we wanted to do earlier. But this is going to become the primary. That means this can go away. And then once this gets built, uh, we can get rid of the other food stand. I don't think it really matters, honestly. But uh, we'll get that taken care of. Yeah, pound away with that hammer. Let's go. All right, so this one is not the one that cared, but let's, um, the killer whale has not showed up, but it's almost the end of the month, so you know it's coming. Let's build, uh, where is it, under community or fun? Yes. All right, so that's not going to have any power. So what we'll have to do there is probably, nope, not the science one, but the city. This is about to be unlocked. Uh, we are going to have to put in a basic cooler, probably right about here. Look, seems like a good spot. That'll work quite nicely and to get that popped in place. But now I have extra penguins because uh, one has to work here. And then um, I guess I just have an extra penguin for whatever reason. So that to me says ice spear tower time, except I can't put one here. I can't put one here. I can't put one there, but I can put a second one here. Why not? Let's just let's just build another one of these guys. Get that going, I'll staff it, and then everything will be covered by at least two. And depending on where this thing decides to attack, it's going to have a walloping coming for it. So we'll see what happens. We'll get it all taken care of. All right, fastest game speed, let's go. Killer whale's approaching, huh? Well, we might not have time at this point. So we'll see what happens here. All right, that's not a killer whale, that's a seal. Where's there it is. All right. He chose poorly. This is the most staunchly defended bastion of our penguin settlement here. Yeah, he's about to get bodied right here. Uh look look at these guys going. That was a wise investment in defense that we made. And there we go. We protected our building against a killer whale and 32 gold and 160 extra reputation points. We got that penguin street cred. So now they just have that's such a stupid statement. Uh, they have to uh, they have to rebuild this, but that is fine. That is all well and good. And this ended up not being necessary, but we're going to be glad we had it. Now, now we have the opportunity, I think. One would think the city stuff becomes unlocked, but apparently not. Uh, fishing dock. Unlock the fishing dock. Da -da. Now we can build it. It should be under food and medicine, which it is. Oh, that's a big one. Do we have anywhere to put this or is it going to have to be on a separate island I'm guessing alright I gotta pause this so I can figure out where in the world I can build this thing okay so it's picky it can only go there oh nice yeah we'll put this um ah, 
I guess here is fine. It's not going to be powered, but uh, we can fix that. Hopefully. Let's see if we can before we have them actually build it. The basic cooler, not going to fit here, but it will fit in another spot if I have room for it. Yeah, so maybe instead of building the second uh, ice spear tower, I should have built the cooler here. Yeah, that's probably uh, probably what we're going to have to do. I I had to get rid of this. Well, you know what? It's it's easy enough to rebuild stuff in this game. Let's um. Let's move the basic cooler here. Um, see, that's yeah. Okay, so that actually did need to be in that exact spot, unless. We get rid of that. That was the garbage collector, right? I don't know why I'm asking you. I can't read your comments until after the video is posted. Um, garbage collector. Yeah, let's uh, let's just move this over here, so it'll be in range of. Uh, maybe it's not in range of the power. Maybe that's why I didn't build it that way. All right. So if I do that. I feel like that's like 90% of what this game is going to be, is just figuring out where you can put stuff where it's actually connected to power. Uh, so that goes away. Uh, that cooler might do something if I do that here. So the, <laughs> it's only going to do... <laughs> oh no. Alright. That's going to have to be a wind turbine. Only way to get around that is to put that guy there. Uh, which does mean now that the defense becomes an issue. Yeah, because of how this is set up. So that's warehouse. Um, I think the warehouse has to move. Once again, um, bad uh, bad planning is going to end up uh, causing all sorts of problems here. But if we move the warehouse, let's check resources. It doesn't really have to be in any specific place. Uh, I'm just going to put it here. Oh no, it's in the middle of the path. It's fine. I, I need the space here to put the, the baby the baby penguin zone. Hopefully that ends up being okay. Yeah, that'll work there. This is going to be fine here, hopefully. But uh, we don't have anything else coming in this month. So, well, it's the end of January at least. We got those seals coming in. February, but hopefully that's the end of the month. Anyway, all that just to move stuff so I can build a defense over here. Nah, eh, that's got to get built. Because I know they're going to try to come over here and do all this. It's fine. We're learning. That's what you do when you play these games. Alright, so we have the plastic, we have the wood. I just need them to come and build this, please. Please and thank you. So the fishing dock has to actually get built in the next 2.13 months. Uh, we will have that taken care of sooner rather than later. Just have to get this primary. That's gone back down to normal speed. And now I can put in uh, defense here. This is going to complain about not having power. But defense wise, all I have to do. Oh, yeah, this will actually cover both of these. Defense there, defense here. Why not? Why not? Uh, and then we'll put a cooler right there. That's going to work out real nice. So now they can build all this stuff. Let's just maybe build the fishing dock first because I need that to be done. And we need to produce four fish. Yeah, so get this uh, get this done with a quickness, shall we? A wind turbine can be the next priority. But I've got all these extra builders we can... Uh, can bring in here back to the builder's hut get this thing constructed and we'll see what happens plus you know all the seals coming in probably we're gonna want to have a uh, little bit more of a defense set up here all right come on come on and build this thing man let's go let's go we <laughs> got a a mighty need for this fishing dock to be completed, so hurry up with your, your penguin hammers here. Alright, so that's got to get... Oh, we got an achievement for that. Let's uh, now... Let's see, what is this? Trawling dock, take one out. Have one penguin start... Oh, it's not in the range of a cooler. 
All right, so I guess that didn't need to be a thing here. Herb collector, need that to be collecting more herbs. Now this is ready to go. Let's, uh, let's see, fishing dock, I've taken a nobody trawling dock. Food stand, builder's hut, you're on the clock. Fishing dock, it's your time to shine. Uh, get your productivity up a little bit. Make us some, uh, make us some food. Overall, though, I think we've we've done okay. Not amazingly well, but we've we've made some uh, some nice improvements here. I do need more space for adult penguins, so we're gonna have to have a separate uh, separate area over here, probably for those guys. Uh, the ah yes, here come the here come the seals. Oh boy, here come the seals. I don't have any defense over here, and the food storage is all right here. So uh, we might we might have some runners. Might have some runners. Oh, we got the task done. Nice. Uh, but these guys have to get uh, removed here. Come on. Oh, is this the second wave coming in now? Well, the music is back. Oh, penguins died of old age. I guess they do that. Oh, nice. It automatically assigned idle penguins. Love to see that. Now let's get that garbage collector operating. And then the ice spear tower, I guess we need to have uh need to have some more of those ice spears get produced. Alright, new task. Village hall. Building can be used to request food, medicine, materials, and gold from the king. Each help request will give you temporary penalty reputation points. Only one help request can be made in a year. Okay. Let's see. Do we want to actually build this? So I thought we already had something kind of similar. But that's I know it's not the same building, but um, we might as well. That's the transfer center. I guess that was the uh, that's just to get penguins. It's not to get help. Hold on, nobody was uh, nobody was staffing this thing. Hold on, hold on. Am I am I meta gaming by pausing this? Ah, garbage collector out. Defense contractor in. Uh, get to work, bub. Let's go. We, we, we got some seals looking for meals. We don't want them to take ours. I love how the, the like the one of the 150 hit points has like the boss health bar. All right, is that all the is that all the seals? Did we get that uh get that taken care of? I guess there's this one guy right here who's uh, just waiting for his time to strike. Yep. All right, he's done. Okay, I need to build the village hall. We need to unlock it first. Get rid of that. I still can't get any of this stuff. I thought it was going to unlock when I got to 1500, but maybe not. All right. So now village hall needs to be built. Is that under community? Yes. Okay. Where can I pop this thing in? I mean, I guess right here is probably a decent spot for it. We just have to have, you know, um, this transfer center gone away. Let's get rid of that. Village hall will be village hauling right here. Hold on. Okay, that note that plays, the very first note. I'm pretty sure that's the same pitch in... Um, the uh, the end of Roundabout by Yes, I guess, became a meme for the Zoomers, at least, with, uh, I think, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. But <laughs> that's a, that just immediately came to mind as soon as I clicked that. I don't know. I, I don't think I have perfect pitch, but I do, uh, I do get reminded of that when I clicked on that. Anyway, completely irrelevant. But uh, that is now done, and we can request help from the king, but we won't do that because we don't need it. So now we have to just produce a couple more fish and we're going to be done with this, uh, this task here, but we need some more, uh, some more adult penguins, but look at this. We've managed to condense the island a little bit and we have a bunch more space. We haven't really taken full advantage of yet. So we'll do a couple more things. Finish this episode out. Uh, the school, we need to educate the kids because you want to have educated children, don't you? Uh, this will fit here. What about the carousel? Where's the, uh, that's something we need to have for the, for the little children's. We'll pop that guy there. 
Game Center. For the penguins to play video games? <laughs> These penguins have a crazy amount of stuff. A fight club? Are you serious? <laughs> Rule number one of Fight Club is don't talk about Fight Club. So I don't I don't know what these penguins are up to. But that uh that task is all completed. Um I guess maybe so look at all this space. We have to purchase it. How much? Oh, okay, it takes gold. But we have plenty of gold, so we you know we could actually do that. I think that would be a great thing to do next time. Next episode is to uh build another, I guess penguin uh housing area over here because right here uh we're we have some space left but we're gonna run out of space real quick and we're gonna want to make sure we have uh plenty of room to grow so all that being said year two march uh we've managed to get uh killer whales defeated multiple seal squads slaughtered whatever you want to whatever you want to call that and we made some decent progress so i think this is probably a pretty good place to call it for today and uh, come back next time to maybe expand across the way here. Yeah, I, I'm really having a lot of fun with this game. I hope you are too. Uh, response generally to the first video is very positive. So I think we're going to continue on this series for a while. And uh, see what we can get ourselves into. So expect to see another video of this on Friday. Occupying the former uh, uh, Booktales hard mode slot. Since today, by the time you're watching this video at least, it will be Tuesday. So... We'll have at least one more episode on Friday. Depending on response, we might continue this for another couple of days and to see what we can get ourselves into. Another couple of days as in um, the uh, upload schedule, not to... Uh, well, you, you know what I'm getting at, but I digress. Uh, so as always, really appreciate your feedback, uh, thoughts on the game. If you want to see more of this, what you want to see us try that we haven't done yet, or if you've played the game and you have any ideas that you want to see us incorporate, I'm always all ears. Because, as I say, this is a let's play, not a watch me play. I'd like to have a good time uh, taking care of all of the stuff that we all want to see. So, outside of that, just want to also thank the Beard Boosters for their support, making it possible to do fun stuff like try these new games and uh, take the risk that the YouTube algorithm will bury me when I upload something that isn't Beavers. But uh, that support makes it possible, and I'm very, very thankful for those folks and for you as well. Hope whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day, have a fun and a safe time, and we'll see you back again soon for more penguins. We've got penguin or penguin architect, prisoner architect tomorrow, and then uh, the Iron Teeth playthrough on Thursday, of course. So again, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.